Hello everybody, my name is Anthony Effort and welcome back to another episode of God It's a Secret. And if you have not already, please hit that subscribe button, not only so we hit that goal of a million subscribers within a year, but also so we get 2,000 as quickly as possible and my buddy Chad quit smoking for good. And with all that being said, it is now time to get into the actual topic for the next video, which is how to pray more effectively. And to me, this is just such an important video to make because I know at least personally, I was praying so incorrectly and ineffectively for the longest time. Because quite honestly, I have no idea how I didn't see the massive problem with praying like this. But for years and years and years, I would always pray and ask God for things all the time. I would constantly just, you know, like whenever like, there was something in life that I wanted to happen or just, yeah, like any, anything that I wanted to happen, I would always pray to God and ask for it to happen. Somehow not realizing that in doing that, I was literally telling God what to do. Like without even realizing it, whenever I would just ask God for things to happen, I would be acting like I was smarter than him. Now, like I said, clearly I didn't realize somehow that that was what I was doing. But once you think about it like that, it makes it so obvious that you should never ask God for things to happen. Because here's the thing. If you think that something should happen at a specific time and it doesn't, it's a good thing that it didn't happen then. Now, yeah, you might have wanted it to happen at that time. But here's the thing. God is infinitely ahead of you. God is so much further ahead than you are. So the thing is, yeah, maybe to you it would be better if things happen now but they'll be better for you when they happen at the time that God has them happen. Like I said though, it took me a long time to figure this out because for a while, I just kept thinking to myself like, okay, I know God's plan is real, so then what's the point of praying? Now, I knew praying was important, so I just, you know, I, I kept doing it, kept doing it the way I was, but yeah, I'd been wondering for a while, like what's the point of prayer if everything is just gonna happen at the time God wants it to happen anyways? But now I know, the point of prayer is to change you. The point of praying isn't to change God, it's to change you. And that's the reason they say that praying sets your intentions and that's why it's so important that you should do it all day, every day. Because when you do that, it does two things. For one, it keeps you focused on acting the way that you want to act. And second, it keeps you reminded throughout the day that God is with you every step of the way. And a good example of this is the way that I pray to God all day, every day to help me be more like him. Now clearly I realize that I have absolutely no chance of being anywhere near as perfect as God, but at the same time though, I can certainly try my best to behave the way he would. And that's so important to me because I know the more and more closely I emulate God, the better and better my life will be. So that prayer keeps me focused on that, and it also reminds me that God's with me every step of the way. So with all that being said, the next time you pray, make sure it's about you. Make sure it's about you and not what you want God to do for you or give to you. Because God will give you exactly what you need, exactly when you need it. So with all that being said, thank you for watching. I love you all. God bless.